So my name is Real Fortin. I uh, work for Peter Q at Infrastructure Group on the Mayo B Hydro project, and I'm a field engineer, one of many. And but my area was the penstock. When I was at university, there was a recruiter, HR guy, and uh, I, I originally wanted to go work on big oil rigs, offshore oil rigs. And, uh, and then he's like, oh yeah, we got a project in Mayo coming up. And I was like, well, well I'm from Whitehorse, so that's kind of cool. So then I uh, did a little bit of rallying and calling people around, and next thing you know, I'm on the Mayo B job. There's an existing infrastructure here. Um, to be honest, um, I'm fairly certain that they've, they've been thinking about Mayo B for a long time, and yeah. there's lots of feasibility studies and and there's already a kind of relationship form. So when the federal government started doing the stimulus spending, they basically said, we'll pay for half um, of any, any project that will start boosting the economy right now. Uh, so there, there could be other hydro opportunities in the Yukon that haven't been brought that far along, but uh, this one was brought further enough along that we could just do it this year. Make it happen. Right. So this project took a year and a half, two years to do, which is pretty monumental for a hydro job, right? If it was start from scratch, it would have been a you know, ten-year process. Right. Okay. Uh, so the penstock is a ten. The, for this job, it's a ten-foot diameter pipe. It's three point seven kilometers long, and it basically brings water from the lake right to the powerhouse, and then right directly into the turbines. Uh, this job is actually the first job in Canada that uses the weld after backfill uh, procedure for this penstock. So you actually put the pipe in the ground, put the protective wrap on, bury it, and then weld it. So one of the big challenges was proving that that process worked. Um, we had to dig up uh, joints and test them, make sure that they, uh, they didn't work compromised. You're testing to make sure that the weld is sealed, that this is still a sealed joint kind of stuff. So that was actually a, a big success. So I bet you we're going to see a lot more of that weld after backfill. Um, just because it takes, it used to be you'd have to put the pipe in, weld it, wrap it, and bury it. And you can only go so many pipes ahead before uh, before you can bury them. So uh, you've got the waiting on the welding, which can take up to a full shift to do a, one joint. So now you've taken welding right out of the critical path, and you can you can install pipe much, much quicker. So uh, that was pretty exciting. Water up happened without a word? No, yeah. we Like that's a pretty momentous occasion. Yeah, it was, I was pretty exhausted. So I, it was more of a, okay, the water's coming in. Okay, I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs>